All right, it's like 40 degrees outside, and I'm gonna ride to Burlington, Vermont. I'm gonna plug in a little body heater to my USB port back here. There we go. And I gotta turn myself on. It was 32 degrees this morning. Oh, but the sun is shining. Sun's out, gun's out. Cold weather riding in Vermont has some serious advantages. Let me tell you why. When I moved here from Florida, I knew nothing of true cold gear. I do now. <laughs> oh man, does it get cold here. And I have learned about contraptions and devices like even this turtle fur. I didn't know they had these little spring-loaded scarves. That's a ski thing. You know what else I learned when I moved here? Not just layers. I've always known about layers. Never put much thought into layer strategy. For example, I'm wearing skin tight base layer. So, I had no idea why that was important. Now I do. It's important because it keeps the wind off your skin, which is one of the things that makes you so cold. When you wear a skin tight, stretchy base layer, no wind touches your skin. No clothing flaps loosely and allows wind to flow up against your skin, which strips away your heat. That's a bad thing. So I wear leggings and a long sleeve top shirt, under layer, base layer. Then I put flannel on that, then a hoodie on that. The heat pad goes close to my skin on the stretchy layer. That's where it works best. And as long as you can keep this core nice and warm, you're usually pretty warm in your extremities, or at least better than they would be. Now the turtle fur is important because it keeps the wind going down your shirt, but it also keeps the wind from going up inside your helmet. Wow, that guy was just cutting that corner. And that's another place where I freeze. I tried to put a, um, like a baklava, I think it's called, or is that the, is that the dessert? Anyways, I tried to put one of those head coverings on under my helmet, that, that doesn't work. There's no way that works. It stretches, it's too tight, it's a mess. All right, so we're gonna take mostly, I think, back roads. I'm thinking 116, right into South Burlington. I'm gonna go to play it again sports first and hopefully catch the family there. The winter gloves, they've been really good to me, but I couldn't find my silk liners. The silk liners, by the way, are cheap and they go on the inside. They're just a thin little, they actually look like women's dress gloves. And they are supposed to add, and I believe it's true from my experience, 10 degrees. They give you 10 more degrees of tolerance over your existing gloves. So the little heating pad I have on is maybe my third one. I've got two others and they're like 11, $12 delivered from Amazon. And it just, this is so warm. This is the brunt of the wind on my body. Hey, that's a nice off-road vehicle. All right, across the bridge. Route 4, Prosper Road, Woodstock Bypass. So today we're looking at a high in the low 50s, I think. That's doable, as long as I'm in the sunshine, I'm good. All right, this is Route 12. Route 12, Barnard, seven miles. Woo! Oh, that's the stuff right there. Beautiful, Barnard, Vermont. I can barely put my arms down. I feel like that kid in a Christmas story. Uh, my wife has a huge head start on me. And whether she wants to admit it or not, she's very competitive and she can't stand the idea in some way that I would get there before her. <laughs> she wants to prove that minivan time is not different than motorcycle time. Woo! Here's the view. <laughs> yes. I can't look though I have to watch the road. Ah, oh, it's great. Horses, cows, mountains, farmage. Ah, Vermont. The smells, the sights, the sounds. Those alert mooses. Bethel. Bethel, Vermont people. 
right straight ahead. Well, Bethel getting a little rustic here with the dirt. I'm gonna do two gaps today. I'm gonna do the Rochester Gap, and I'm gonna go back to the Appalachian Gap and do the west side of Route 17 that I didn't do last time. And then we're gonna take Route 116 all the way north into South Burlington. Coming in hot and heavy, kids. It may not be the fastest, most efficient route, but dang, it's gonna be pretty. Wow. Yes, we need to slow down right here. 2,120 feet, Rochester Gap. Fantastic. That's one gap down, one more to go. So this is Rochester. Isn't it awesome? They have one of the best greens. Look at that thing. Looks like Groundhog Day should be right there. All right, we are now on Route 100. Route 100 is gonna take us north to 117. We got leaves all over the road. I gotta slow it down before I eat it. Wow, you can see how little this road is used. There are loose leaves just resting on the road. <laughs> just out here by myself on this beautiful Saturday. Incredible, just incredible. So the battery didn't last nearly as long as it does on warm days. West 17, right here. Boy, you could easily miss this turn. Going. And there's my gas. Is it open? Man, it looks thin. Full tank of gas. Appalachian Gap, here we come. West side. Rough road, next four miles. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. Up we go. Vermont 17. Look at this road. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just cracks me up. It's too perfect. It's like something out of a magazine. Do people still read magazines? <laughs> this is it. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic road. The guys that paved this road must have been laughing the whole time, just going, yeah, I can't wait to take this one. <laughs> 15 miles an hour. Wow. Boy, of all these uh, gap roads, this has got to be right at the top of the list. And for all the people that said, I live near this road, I think they all own motorcycles. <laughs> for a good reason, too. Appalachian Gap lies ahead. Here, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Look at all the cars. It's pretty during the day, but it was far more dramatic during sunset. All right, I'm going down. Oh, yes. I did go down this road a couple years ago, but it's been forever. <laughs> Look at this ridiculous road. Oh, man. Oh, and it's beautiful. Kidding me? Look at the lake. Pond, swamp, whatever you want to call it. Man, this is a steep drop coming off this mountain. Downshifting. Wow. Yeah, I can see why people low side. Look at this. <laughs> That's great. That's an incredible turn. Right when you think it couldn't get sharper, it does. Oh, well, there's still some chunks in this road. There's a bump. Woo! It is better on this side, though. But what I've seen on these mountain roads is they're usually busted up. The soils shift. 
Everything's moving in Vermont. I'm having a blast though. This is so fun. What a treat. What a great road to experience. So glad you could be here with me. I'm really not pushing the limits, but I'm having a lot of fun. Molly Gray. And this is why I will never give up my GSX-S750. Wow, that got steep in a hurry. Whoa. <laughs> All the braking. Steep and sharp. But this is why I won't give up my GSX-750. Roads like this in Vermont are everywhere. And what a blast. How much fun is this? And I know I could go down them on any bike, and I still do want a cruiser. But there's times when you just want your little barnstormer. Your 100 horsepower, 450 pound barnstormer. I think we're off. I think we're down. It's flattened out. That was great. That's a ridiculous road. I can see why a lot of people low side on that because that's sharper than you would ever imagine a road would be and it's hard to judge i'm glad i took it slow take it easy arrive alive i just keep going down 116 <laughs> yes south burlington that way what a ride baby Thank you, Lord. Oh, that sun, though. Oh, yes. Oh, that sun. I can feel it already. Hence the black in Vermont. I mean, and it's my favorite color. Oh, we have another brave soul out in the cold. Dude. <laughs> ah, Vermont 116. This is South Burlington. Oh, my legs. I didn't realize they were freezing up. That was a long stretch right there. It feels good to stretch it out. Oh, too funny. I'm going this way. Yeah, <laughs> so... Oh, this is funny. When I first met my wife, we were just hanging out. We used to work together. We came to this gas station. And the girl behind the counter stared at her with such hatred. And I said, did you know that person? She said, no, first time I've ever seen her. And I said, why'd she stare at you? Stare at you like that? She said, that's just what girls do. Girl world is so weird. All right, I'm out of here. I'm gonna head to Burlington first. You can't come all the way up here and not go to the waterfront. I gotta see the water. So that's where I'm heading right now. Beautiful, amazing. It's gotta be one of the top three entries to any city. The water, the Adirondacks in the background. Dude, this is it.
Ah, oh, Church Street is always one of my favorites. That's another thing I gotta see when I'm here. All right, through downtown. This used to be my stomping grounds. Look at that mountain. How gorgeous. You got mountains on both sides of the city. Harley guy. Ooh, skull on the back of his jacket. Here comes a sport bike. Sport bike, dude. What's up, man? You. You. Al's french fries. See you, Al's. Al, we will catch you next time. Oh, it smells so good. South 116. See you, South Burlington. I am done. I'm heading home. I'll be there soon. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. Hopefully the sun doesn't go down on me before I get home. I take the restroom. What a shot. <sighs> I take a little stop uh, to take a photo. <laughs> Look at that, the last drip of sunshine on that mountain tip just slowly fading away. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I can see it, I can see it moving. Incredible. Goodbye, sun, hello, moon. Woo! What a day, yeah! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get home and get in that hot tub. Woo! It's gonna feel so good. It's so pretty. Man, this is pretty. <laughs> oh. Incredible. Wow. Woo! Oh, I had to stop. I am freezing to death. I took off my helmet and I'm putting on my clear mask. Oh, so cool. My body's not working. This is a lot harder than it looks. All right, I'm back on the road. I'm just outside of Bethel. Probably got about 30 minutes before I get home. Oh, so cold. It's so cold. If, if I don't make it, somebody grab the video and just stick it on YouTube. Put it on YouTube.